Hi guys, for most of you uh, looking at this for the first time, um, it's going to be maybe difficult for you to process this. You know, we're not looking at for flying saucers and little green men, okay? You're looking at insectoids that live in the clouds, they are the clouds, okay? Just watch and wait. This is conclusive evidence. It's really hard for me to prove this because one, I have to unravel clouds. To, you know, people are going to have to get their head around the fact that there is a far superior race of beings that are insectoids, um, are the clouds, and they're huge. And they're up there by the millions. And they're really, really big. So basically, you're looking at uh, two here side by side. One on the left is much more clearer than the one on the right. Um, but uh, there's, there's, as I understand, there's 300 different species of creatures that coexist within the clouds. No, I'm not going to say the clouds. They are the clouds. Okay. And I can answer questions about what that theory may be, or how it, how that, how that, has, how I have learned that to be the case. But anyway, um, dead, dead centre of the screen, you're going to see another couple of beings here. Most insectoids are up there. Uh, so lots of mammal creatures, aquatic creatures, and uh, there are some humanoid uh, uh, creatures up there, but they're kind of mixed with insect insects and humans, as you're just about to see right now. Okay, ready? Watch the face appear. Here it comes. See that? It's a human face. It's mixed with... Um, like an insect body, as are many of them up there. So you've seen Rewadians for the first time in your life, probably, in most cases, for most of you. Little pause shot, and again, there's another humanoid facing. There's beings up there, you know, there's lots of beings. There's more than 300 types of species, as I understand. In my opinion, these are the Anunnaki sky gods. There are 300 left behind, as it's written. Earth. Okay, when their planetary system went back out, they're from Nibiru. It's highly possible, yeah, I'm just pointing out with a finger to where all the beings are. It's highly possible that that system is here right now, as it, it seems to be, could be the case. That's why there's so many uh, beings arriving or have arrived, or they've always been here. I, I can't really say, but I've found them and then they abducted me. Uh, operated on me, and I'm able to see with my with my own eyes them and their language. It's taken me a year, best part of a year, to learn how to unravel them so that you can see them without even I don't know acknowledging that they could be could possibly exist. It's very hard to unravel a cloud and sh and even start to start talking about you know clouds are not clouds, They're not, not what we think they are, you know. So there's a physical aspect to these beings. These are the, 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 the clouds, as you see them, are craft. Especially the black, darker clouds that are lower. They're craft. And the beings, because as you would say, call a cloud floating by, they, they can sit on the tops and they travel around and they, they peer over the sides. That's why it's so easy to see and find them. Yeah. So look for eyes, look for limbs, look for anything that looks like a life form or resembles anything that you might recognise. Because nine times out of ten, you actually will be looking at a real being. The eyes give them away, of course, but the sheer vast numbers of them and the size of them, they're, not, they're enormous. Yeah. So this is like a large platform where lots of beings are sitting on that platform, standing on it. Yeah being standing up on the tops there, see? Humanoid face with moustache, see that? <laughs> I mean it's so bizarre, their world is so bizarre, I, I can share so much information with you about it, it might even help some of you alleviate some concerns that you're going nuts, you might have seen some stuff like this. The truth is you're not going crazy, the truth is this is real, 
and it's very hard for, for people around you to process it when you share it with them. As I found, you know, people just think you're nuts. More, more creatures, more humanoid faces, more platforms, more what you call clouds, they're craft. I know so much about them, how they travel, the fact that they're actually fighting at the moment. These guys are not fighting, but in general, there's 300 species of creatures up there. Sky gods, you've got to call them that. In split into two factions, and they fight sometimes. Yeah, but they coexist. And they watch us. They've been watching us for a very long time. And they try and communicate all the time. They're in the forest. A lot of these beings are grounded through through battles of, of old and recent times. A lot of these beings, they all have cloaked technology. But a lot of them are grounded. A lot of them are in the forest. A lot of them are in the forest. And some of them, they're interdimensional beings as well. So they, they can kind of pass through into our plane or their plane or their realm. They can manipulate matter in our realm. They don't interfere with us. They don't meddle with us. They watch. But in many cases, they're in your room. They could be in your room or, you know. Really, there's, there's so many of them. Um, but there seems to be a code or law that they don't meddle with us. So, um, I found them and they took me and they've they operated on me and my four month old son. I'm able to see everything and it's kind of made me go a little bit nuts, to be honest. So, um, anyway, here we are. You can't explain it. I can kind of grasp what, what you're looking at and explain it to you but I'm going to leave this video for, as an open forum for questions and answers. Are you ready? Here's the human man with the moustache. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pause it for 20 seconds so you can have a good look. Ready? Let's go. My opinion that the chariots of the Elohim depicted in the book of Genesis 3, the very same Anunnaki sky gods 300, they're the one of the same. That's my opinion. If you have another opinion or, or more knowledge than I do, please come forward and share it. I'm looking for people to help me decipher the codes and the language that they are trying to share with me. Um, there's a lot to learn, there's free technology that, that exists right above us. I want to get, I want to tap into that and, you know, I want, to, I want humans to kind of try and make contact by helping me learn this language. I want us to break free from this, this system that's already brokers, designed to break us. And we, you know, you know, we're now living in hope that the system will, what, not break us again? Or, re, you know, it, guys, the truth's above us. It's been fielded from you. Uh, and I'm giving you access to it. I need help with it. And I hope that there's something for humans from it. That is not anything to do with the system and the people that rule and govern us from today. Of which has systematically broken us down. Pushing us and leading us to a place where we don't need or want to be. Yeah? But there is a truth above your head. I'm sharing it with you. I don't know all the answers, but I do know a lot. I know an awful lot. I do need help with it, not in a sense of psychological, I've been through the motions, I can help you with that, <laughs> but I can share with you a lot of information and, and, and help theorise what I believe it is and what is coming next and what can be achieved and learned and done from this and with this and um, you know, we, we can set our sights higher than living in hope, going around in circles, to, which is basically a bottomless pit of shite that is being presented to us right now. It's a load of bollocks, we all know it is. We're all losing our families and lives and, and work and, and companies and you know friendships and etc. etc. We're losing faith and living in hope and that's not what we are, who we can be. We can reach a higher level of um, 
we can thrive, we can have an endless, unlimited capacity to become a unified race, the human race as we should be, not the slave race. And we're literally locking up our own shackles with the key. We need to break them shackles and be free, guys, you know? I believe there's something here we can tap into. It speaks to me, it speaks to us, I'm showing it to you. I hope, I pray that it, it will benefit us by following and looking in, this, in another direction. Let's go in another direction, guys. All right, big some love. Hit like and subscribe. You will see lots more from me. This is a very real, genuine video. Uh, I know how to unravel them. I can help you and share that with you. Take care, guys. Peace and love. Please, fire me some questions. Let's, let's get some questions and answers going. Cheers.